Oh, what's up, guys? I see you made it. Welcome to LA. Hey, thanks for having us over. Happy to be here. Hey, come on in. Check out the place. Okay, very cool. So you guys got some questions for us, yeah? Sure do. Hey, fire away. Okay, which one of you officially goes by Jack? <sighs> you? you? Or was it... I'm, I'm pretty sure we both. Go by Jack. Yeah. And you are both from Omaha, correct? Yeah, man. Born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska. Hey, let's go upstairs. Yeah, for sure. Come on. So when did you guys move out to Los Angeles? Uh, I would say a few years back, like December 2014 or so. Nice. And what is your favorite part about LA? My favorite part? It would have to be the people, man. The people are amazing here. Let's get it. Be groovy, baby. Ooh, what's going on here? Uh, it's a new game we got called Just Dance. It's crazy, yo. Here, let me get in. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, so I can get a better look at you. You're the baddest in the place. Who'd have knew? A young Bobby Darren, the way that I put in work on the mic, staying up all night. Ooh, I like that. Hard, bro. That's gonna be a good dance. Oh, my God, bro, you're the ducker. What? How's the ducker? Okay, I'm ducking next time. Oh, so bad. Okay, very cool. Oh, this is my favorite one. Hey, Nash, wanna that game? So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool game. We love it. That's your song Groove, right? Yeah, man. It, we're so like they use it in the game. It was like the craziest thing to us. It's awesome though. So what inspired you to write this song? You know, I would say just all the groovy people of history's past: James Brown, Michael Jackson, Bruno Mars, really anybody who's got the funk inside of them. Bobby Darin, don't forget Bobby Darin. Good one. Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. The list could go on and on. You know. How excited are you guys to be featured in Just Dance 2017? Yo, it's insane, yo, because, I mean, we love interactive games, and the fact that they're using our song in it is, like, just mind-blowing. We're so honored, for real. So, what's for dinner? Oh, for dinner? Uh, what is for dinner, guys? Takeout again, you think? Yeah, definitely takeout. I mean, for the ninth time in a row. Yeah, we, uh, we like takeout. That's pretty much what we have every single night. Every night, without fail. Without fail. Who's the better cook between the two of you? Cooking is not really either of our strong suits. Yeah, we're more like the eaters, you know? Yes, we eat all the food that is cooked. We can make some breakfast foods, though. I'm pretty good at cheesy eggs. He's pretty good at pancakes. Pancakes, a little chocolate chip, a strawberry few things, pancakes. A few man. things here and there. So that's about it. I can toast bagels pretty nicely, but that's, yeah, we're not really cookers. No. Hey, come check out my room. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Woo. Nash, keep killing it. You need to hop back in here. Yeah, he needs a partner, bro. I got you. So it's just up here. Got it. All right, well, I've got some questions for you. What's up? If you could travel back in time, what year would you travel to? Travel back in time, man. There's so many good years. I would just have to pick a decade, you know, probably the 60s. I could meet Jimi Hendrix and Bob Marley, all these crazy legends that I grew up, you know, knowing. Right? Yeah. So this is your bedroom up here. This is my bedroom right here. Three rapid fire questions for you. Hit me. All right. Ever been skydiving? No. Ever eaten bugs? Sadly, yes. Broken a bone? No. What did you want to be when you were five years old? When I was five years old, I always wanted to be an astronaut or an actor for some reason. Got it. Are you uh, an early bird or a night owl? Definitely an early bird lately. Okay. Boxers or briefs? <laughs> uh, briefs, for sure. All right. Do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents? Um, I can do a backflip just standing on the ground. Wow, okay. What's your fondest memory growing up with Jack J? My fondest memory growing up with Jack J would have to be just jumping on the trampoline with him every single day as much as we could. We would do it from like 3 p.m. when we got out of school until like 10 p.m. at night and then we would just be wiped out and we'd go right to sleep. Oh, nice. What's your favorite thing to do in the summer? My favorite thing to do in the summer is probably go to the pool, you know, maybe have a breath holding competition with Jack J. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can hold your breath for a long time. Yeah, I hold my breath for like three minutes, four minutes. Do you feel like showing us? Here we go, here we go. <sighs> Yo, what's going on in here? Is he holding his breath? Yeah. Come check out my room while he's doing that, all right? Come on. He can never beat me, by the way. Like, I always win. So, this is my spot, I guess. Nice. I like it. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. If you could cast yourself in a biopic, who would you choose to play yourself? You know, I would probably, I would probably have Newt from the Maze Runner play me. Thomas Sankster is his name, because a lot of people say we look pretty similar. So yeah, he would be my role, I guess. And who would you cast as G? As G, I would have to say, you know, like an OG, like George Clooney. You know, someone 
who's really like, you know, big, very renowned, and you know, he's got that jawline too, so it all works out. What's your favorite thing to do in your bedroom? My favorite thing to do in my bedroom, um, I'll keep it PG with this one. I would say just sleep, honestly. It's a little basic, but I'm a big fan of sleep, one of my favorite pastimes, and yeah, sleep's amazing. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? The first thing I do when I wake up, uh, typically I'll go pee. I mean, not like in my bed, I'll get out and walk to the bathroom and then I'll pee, but yeah, usually I urinate first thing in the morning. <laughs> What's the last thing you do before you go to bed? The last thing I do before I go to bed, I would say I lock my door because, you know, you never know if Jack G's gonna sneak up on you, play a prank, and I don't really trust him sometimes. So yeah, gotta keep that door locked. If you could snap your fingers and create a hybrid animal, what two animals would you choose? I would make a gorilla combined with an elephant, and it would be called a gorillafant. And yeah, it would have like the body, it would have the body of an elephant, like the legs and everything, but then the torso on top of the elephant would be like a big old gorilla, and he would carry a spear, and he would just run around, you know, hunting prey, I guess. Oh, right. What's your fondest memory growing up with Jack G? My fondest memory with Jack G, that's tough, man. We have so many memories together. I would say, I would say making YouTube videos back in like fourth grade through sixth or seventh grade, uh, was definitely a big highlight of Jack and I's childhood. You know, it was some great times, and I think it really just brought Jack and I's relationship that much closer. So I would say that was a big thing. Hey, yo, we should go check on G, shouldn't we? He's probably dying over there. Jack, what's up, man? What happened? Man, I was going on for 418, 419, 420, and it was just Shut starting up. to go black in the eyes, so I had to let it go. He's lying. I don't believe you. Do you have witnesses? Any witnesses? Uh, yeah, we had some couple people around. No, you got didn't. It on video too. Hey, let's go down the stairs. All right, come on. So I've got another question. What's up? If you could add a third Jack, who would it be? A, a third, third Jack. jack. Man, that's a tough question. We've never you know? really discussed this. Either. Nah, but there's a lot of cool Jacks in the world. You know, you got Jack Sparrow. Jack Black. Jack Black's a great one. I mean, what about the other Jack Johnson? He Jack could, Nicholson, he could bro. Sing with, oh, Jack Nicholson. Classic we, Joker. We could become like an acting trio. I honestly don't know. Uh, what You were going to say the other Jack Johnson? Jack Johnson. I mean, yeah. he's got the melodies, the harmonies. He can play the guitar. But then I feel like we would have a little beef inside the group. Who's the better Who's the Jack, better Jack Johnson? Johnson. Yeah. I don't know. That's tough. There's plenty of Jacks that we would love to have in our group, but I don't know. It could be anyone. Yeah. All right, this one is for the both of you. Okay. If you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? Any advice? Man, that's a tough one, but I would just say something as simple as stay humble, stay true to who you are, and be yourself. Yeah, I think being authentic is the biggest thing you can do. I think that's how you find the most genuine friendships, so I would just say, you know, exactly what G said. Just be authentic and always be genuine. Yeah, because if we weren't two weird, goofy kids, we wouldn't have found each other, you know? True. If you could pick three words to describe each other, what would they be? Three words, okay. You're pretty organized. I would say organized. Thank you. Uh, he's hardworking and he's passionate. I'm really hyping you up right now. Thank you very much. Those Get are out three of great things. I was expecting like mean things, but that was awesome. Uh, unorganized. Nice today. Sorry, I gotta say unorganized. All right, Just because you said organized. Right. Um, That's true. But he's smart. Really, really smart. Thank you, man. That's a generic one, smart. Um, genius. I'm gonna upgrade that to genius, sorry. And my third word would be Damn. intellectual. Appreciate it. Yes. He really thinks I'm smart, I guess. Uh, he is. Got it. What would you say are your spirit animals? Mine would be a spider monkey, because I just love climbing things, and I, you know, I can get on people's nerves sometimes. I can I'm see not that. Um, I got a generic one. I love the lion. I'm gonna go with like a lion. He's very prideful. Thank you. Okay, finish this sentence. Happiness is? Key to life. An emotion. Oh. Both true. Both work. What are you guys most looking forward to in the second half of 2016? Man, we got a lot coming second half of 2016, early 2017. Yo, besides being in Just Dance, I would say we got a book coming out. Book coming out. Yes, we have our debut album as well. A lot of firsts. Here's the book. Oh it's, my God, that's right there. It's called You Don't Know Jax. It's going to be cool. A lot of like new information that no fans know about us. Yeah, but really just a lot, of, a lot of stuff coming out this fall. It's going to be awesome, yo. Big 2016 ahead. Any juicy secrets from the book that you uh, care to share with us here? Juicy secrets. I mean, I would just say you gotta go get the book because that's what the book's for. That's why they're with. secrets, right? Yes, I mean, they're in the book. We wrote it together. You'll see, it comes out in September, so just keep your eyes out. Well, on that note, we are out of time, man. Thank you guys again so much. Of yeah. course, y'all. Hey, we'll show you the way out. Come on. Come on. Hey, Jinx. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> no, but for real, I think I'm gonna be the best at that game when it's all said and done. You think you're gonna be better than Nash? I don't know, though. Nash has been playing all day. He's, <laughs> he's like a head start. He's like an addict, bro. He's literally addicted. Yeah, he's a beast at I don't know how he got so good in such a little time. Hey, well, thanks again for coming, guys. We, uh, we hope you learned everything you needed to learn about us. Yeah. Thank you. I've just got two more questions for you. What's your favorite sound effect? Favorite, I mean, you're the sound effect. I would king. say the water droplet, though. 
Yeah. That's what I was gonna say, yo. That's Sorry. my favorite. I stole his, but he does it way better than me. And what's your favorite selfie face? Favorite, favorite selfie, selfie face. face. Alright, you wanna go on three? Alright, here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> Zoolander, you feel me? Just gotta stare dead in the camera, you know? Boom. Thanks so much, guys. Of course, y'all. Hey, we'll see you around, okay? Stay groovy! <laughs>